पहले एक वाक्य जो जड़ावाला में हुआ और अभी रिसेंटली जो वाक्य हुआ है सरगोता में उससे हमारे सर जो है शर्म से झुक गए बुजुर्ग शहरी को तशद करके सरयाम ईटों से पत्थरों से शदीद जख्मी किया जाता है उसके रेस्क्यू के लिए एम्बुलेंस आती है तो एम्बुलेंस पे अटैक किया जाता है उसके शीशे तोड़ दिए जाते हैं क्रिश्चन कॉम ने बहुत कुर्बानियाँ दी क्रिश्चन प्रॉब्लम इस तरह के और वाक अगर होंगे तो क्या मसीही लोग क्रिश्चन एबल टू लिव विद आए तो वो एक उम्मीद के साथ आए थे उम्मीद ये थी कि पाकिस्तान में ना सिर्फ हम अपने मजहब के मुताबिक अपने कीदों के मुताबिक खुशहाल जिंदगी गुजार सकेंगे बल्कि सर बुलंद करके जी सकेंगे My fellow Pakistanis and Pakistanis living abroad, you are watching National News Nama, and we are starting a new program, a manual, which means God with us. Interestingly, our first guest is also Mr. Amanwal Sarpraz. He is a senior journalist, and uh, it is uh, really our honor that uh, we are starting our first show with such a knowledgeable and visionary personality. We are conducting this program for the integrity of Pakistan and what it means to be a Pakistani. So let's head towards our honorable guest. Welcome to the show, sir. So, how are you? Sir, today's program is that, sir, which is related to the issues of Pakistanis, the issues of Pakistanis, the issues of their problems, the issues of their problems, the issues of their problems. You will be able to take the issues of your knowledge. Because you have seen so much of the issues of the issues, you have seen the issues of the issues. Maybe a common community, a common Pakistani issues, that way, उन मसाइल को या उन मसाइल के हल को नहीं जानता जिस तरह आप उस पर अपनी एक नजर रखते हैं एक राय रखते हैं और हकीकी राय रखते हैं सर पहला सवाल यहाँ से ये आगाज करते हैं कि पाकिस्तानियों में मसीहों के मसाइल दर हकीकत हैं क्या थैंक यू वेरी मच दीप आपने मुझे इनवाइट किया आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू यू और स्पेशली इस वक्त जबकि हमें आइडेंटिफाई करने की जरूरत है कि हमारे मसाइल क्या हैं एज अ क्रिश्चन एज अ पाकिस्तानी सबसे पहले तो हम पाकिस्तानियत को समझें और वो ज़रूरी है हम क्योंकि सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स से वी एज क्रिश्चन्स हैव बीन डिफेंडिंग पाकिस्तान राउंड द वर्ल्ड वी हैव बिकॉज वी आर सन्स ऑफ द सॉइल वी आर सन्स ऑफ द सॉइल हम इसी मिट्टी से हैं और हम इस मिट्टी के साथ वफा करने वाले हैं क्रिश्चन कॉम ने बहुत कुर्बानियाँ दी इस मुल्क को हासिल करने के लिए ये शायद बहुत सारे लोग नहीं जानते और कुछ लोगों को हर इलम है ऑन रिकॉर्ड भी हैं चीज़ें कि जब माइग्रेशन हुई थी बहुत सारे लोग जब इंडिया से पाकिस्तान ज्वाइन किए पाकिस्तान आए थे तो उसमें बहुत सारे क्रिश्चियंस भी थे और मैं पॉइंट आउट कर सकता हूँ ख़ानदान नामों के साथ और लोगों के साथ मेरे अपने मामू जौन से थे वो रंगून में थे उस वक़्त जब पाकिस्तान बनाना था तो वो एक उम्मीद के साथ आए थे उम्मीद ये थी कि पाकिस्तान में ना सिर्फ हम अपने मजहब के मुताबिक अपने कीदों के मुताबिक खुशहाल ज़िंदगी गुजार सकेंगे बल्कि सर बुलंद करके जी सकेंगे लेकिन जो अभी रिसेंटली वाक़त हुए पहले एक वाक़ जो जड़ावाला में हुआ और अभी रिसेंटली जो वाक़ हुआ है सरगोदा में उससे हमारे सर जो हैं शर्म से झुक गए हैं अच्छा सर इसमें अब जिस तरह ये वाक़ात हैं हमने देखा कि अगस्त में पिछले साल एक वाक़ होता है जड़ावाला में 
جس میں خوش قسمتی سے کوئی جانی نقصان تو نہیں ہوتا لیکن مالی نقصان اور ایک جو خوف و حراس کی فضا قائم ہوتی ہے اور وہ لوگ جس ٹراما میں سے گزرتے ہیں وہ تو وہی جان سکتے ہیں جس کو خدا نہ خاصہ یہ سب دیکھنا پڑ جاتا ہے وہ واقعہ ہوتا ہے اس کے بعد اب ایک نیا واقعہ جو کہ حال میں پیش آیا ہے جس میں سرگودا میں ایک شہری کو ایک بزرگ شہری کو تشدد کر کے سرعام اینٹوں سے پتھروں سے شدید زخمی کیا جاتا ہے اس کے ریسکیو کے لیے ایمبولینس آتی ہے تو ایمبولینس پہ اٹیک کیا جاتا ہے اس کے شیشے توڑ دی جاتے ہیں یہ جو عدم برداشت معاشرے میں آ رہی ہے اس کے پیچھے آپ کو کیا سمجھتے ہیں کیا ایسے ہی وجوہات ہیں کہ معاشرہ اتنا پرتشدد ہوتا جا رہا ہے ویورز ویل انڈرسٹینڈ ہمارے جو ناظرین ہیں وہ سمجھ جائیں گے شیکسپیئر کی کوٹ کرتا ہوں کہ لگتا تو پاگل پانا ہے آپ ویڈیوز اٹھا کے دیکھ لیں جو سوشل میڈیا پہ چلیں وہ بھی اور جو نیشنل میڈیا پہ چلیں وہ بھی آپ دیکھ لیں چیک کر لیں جو نیوز چلیں پاگل پان لگتا ہے بٹ اف دیر از میڈنس دیر از اے میتھڈ ان ایٹ یہ شیکسپیئر کا کوٹ ہے اور آئی تھنک وہ ہمارے پہ فٹ ہوتا ہے کہ اگر یہ میڈنس ہے اف اٹ از میڈنس وائی ڈز ناٹ اٹ اسٹاپ از دیر نو اینڈ ٹو اٹ How are we going to stop it? And we as Christians, we are proud of being Pakistanis. Yes. Because I say it with conviction and I believe all the Christians to would agree with me. I want to prove, we as Christians, we want to prove that what our forefathers what our ancestors did for the achievement of Pakistan, did for the struggle of Pakistan, what they believed in, I think that was true. We still have hope in Pakistan. A handful of people, a handful of anti-state elements cannot deter us in our task, cannot stop us in our task. And the task is to live happily, like others, to join the mainstream. There is no other desire for us. Our desire is only to live and prosper in Pakistan. And that is the desire of every Christian. Sir, the second question is why the community, Christian community are, is not satisfied with their political representation? They have a number of uh, reservations and complaints about them. So what do you think? Why is it so? It is very unfortunate. And la for the last 75 years, we have truly never been represented. Let's start with the first general elections that directly took place in Pakistan, in which Zulfkar Ali Bhutto was elected and became the Prime Minister after that. No Christian was elected to the, that assembly. And perhaps many other people do not know the 1973 constitution, which we value so much. No minority is signatory to that constitution. So you see, the 1973 constitution Christians are, an, are, the, are the other minorities. They were never consulted or they were never part of it. They, they were not, never the signatories. And then the other amendments to then the representation of Christians was given such a bad <coughs> process that true representation could not come. Take for example, uh, MNA was supposed to contest from all over the country. He was supposed to get votes from Karachi, from Rawalpindi, from Koita, from each and every corner where the Christians are, where the minorities were living. He, was, he had to collect votes from them. So he had to campaign across the country. Imagine who such a person, who is that powerful, who is that rich person, who can do that? Even, even forget the Christians or even forget the minorities. Can anybody do it? Can anybody 
campaign across the country. That was the process which the Christians followed, in which we had representatives, representatives like J. Salak and other piece, some other people. But unfortunately, the Christians' problems uh, were never discussed. The Christians' problems have never been ever been mentioned. I won't say the Christians, I would say the minorities, all over the minorities, overall, no minorities. Minorities' problems have ever been discussed, have ever been issued. In fact, the thing was that Pakistan tried its best to hide the diversity, the diversity of religions, the diversity of cultures. There was a time when we used to have an English-speaking population in Karachi. Very few remain now. Then there are so many other people. Take for example, I, uh, before this, this program, I had a phone calls from many parts of the world. Interestingly, one came from Fuji, a very dear friend of mine. His wife is a doctor and it is very unfortunate that they have left Pakistan. They're living in Fuji now. They're happy there, which is very sad. His name is Eric. He's a very close friend and I'm really touched that his wife was a doctor and they had to move from Pakistan. I don't know how or what will bring them back, but I do wish that they come back. And so do, and so do I wish for the so many Pakistanis, the people who are fomenting the anger of the majority they should be shamed themselves. This is not the Pakistan as was envisioned by the fathers of the, this country. This was not the Pakistan that was envisioned by Kaits Muhammad Ali Jana. This is not the Pakistan that we have been defending around the globe. What is happening in Pakistan is that we, that a handful of people are trying to pollute the society. The same way it happened in India. In India, what the Congress was able to build in the last 50, 60 years, the nationalism, what the BJP has been able to do is to divert the nationalism to anti-Pakistanism and anti-minorities. And I think that the Indian society has got polluted by the BJP policies. Pakistan, even though it is predominantly Muslim country, the society was not polluted. Now a handful of people are trying to pollute the society and turn them against the minorities living here. How is it possible that one percent of people who turn against the 99% of people, don't do this. Don't do this, this is madness. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, next question is that uh, many uh, of the members of the Christian community, uh, they have a complaint, they have a complaint that uh, they don't elect their representative. Uh, since they, the party, the political party select them. And, and they feel uh, alienated from the leadership, like uh, as they don't, vote them so uh, they believe and they feel that they don't have any right to approach them and similarly from the other side the leaders as well believe that uh, we are not dependent on their votes as well so what amendments can be done to to streamline this process that they own them that the leaders on their uh, community members and community members show faith on their political leadership you know mr deal through you I want to send the message to all the political parties that they can stop this madness. And it is high time they stop this because it, it goes further. 
it would pollute the society it would pollute the society we do not want that to happen start giving they do i won't say extraordinary importance but they do right take for example the government of mr imran khan there was nobody from christians in the cabinet and then came the government of mr nawa shabaz sharif there was no christian in the cabinet yes. and then came the caretakers none of the christians were considered for the caretaker setup which continued for almost a year why is it why is it that incidents like jaramwala and incidents like sargoda happen because the perpetrators the persons who were involved in that pers- in uh, in such incidents they have never been punished take for example the janawala incident and there have been so many incidents take for example in the last two days there have been a couple of other incidents one was in raiband and one was in aquara and one was here in lahore though they were different but it was it involved the christians right right so when the, we if we say that the political parties depend on the electorate a care for the electorate then why are the christians ignored all the time why are they ignored even now i'm not he's a good friend he's a he's a good person who have been kind to christians the sikh minister that you have appointed but why have you ignored the christians what was the reason when when you know that christians are being targeted again and again by the radical elements by anti state elements christians are being targeted why are you not appointing somebody from the christian community as minister so but the question is that uh, not even uh, christian politicians and lawmakers raised objection over it that they they, are, they, they no no one is minister from them <laughs> as uh, christians are in majority in punjab uh, it is very unfortunate we if she go to the profiles of the mps and all the persons who the whom the political parties have selected for us they would not and they cannot reflect the the the, the, the willingness and the, they cannot reflect the feelings of the christians because they are not educated enough they do not have the experience i don't say explain i would take back my words not the experience bring in an inexperienced person but bring in a sincere person from the christians from the christian people isn't it high time you give confidence to the christians why are you trying to shame the country because a handful only a handful of people and for the people can dictate the state it is terrible it's terrible uh okay sir thank you so much sir uh, you briefed it in a very detailed manner and in a very productive approach uh, sir next question is uh, regarding as you know that education is the basic need which helps in uplifting any community any segment of the society um fortunately we have a number of missionary institutions educational institutions but uh, what we see uh, they are not giving that much production in terms of academics they are not producing christian doctors christian uh, chartered accountants christian bureaucrats christian engineers uh, but from same school we see that people from majority they got good grades in board exams they get good grades in um on the final examination then and, and and they pursue a very very fine career in their life but if we see uh, at uh, minorities uh, at uh, mostly in punjab christians um but it's really surprising and shocking to see that 
many of them don't even pursue their education after matriculation. Why is it so? What's On the National News Dama, we used to do a program with, I used to do a program with Mr. Tahir Vicky, and we highlighted this pro issue so many times. But before that, I want to quote one figure so that the people who matter and the different political parties take note of this. That if you have a thinking of giving a, us representation, think about the number of electorate, the number of votes. 2.1 million registered voters are Christians in Punjab. We have 13,000 Sikh voters. And you continue to ignore 2.1 million Christian voters. What is the reason? Can anybody explain this to me? What is the reason why the Christians are ignored? Why the Christians are being ignored? And why then I think if a politician or a person can answer that question, he will be able to answer that why such incidents take place. He is the person who can answer that. Right, sir. Uh, sir, do you think there is a need? And uh, about the about the quota and this thing, it is only in recent years that we Christians have uh, their children are getting the girls and boys they are coming to service the two governments public sector service. Otherwise, the doors of the public sector were closed for the Christians and the minorities. It is only for the last, after 2008, that the doors of public sector has open, have opened for the Christians and the minorities generally. Otherwise, we did not have any assistant commissioners, nobody in the customs, Nobody in the FIA, nobody, no, nobody in the police. I mean, nobody means perhaps one or two may, may have gone there, but not recognizable. Now they're coming because of this quota system. And I think I still have hope. That is why I believe in Pakistan and I think the Christians, all the Christians still believe in Pakistan. We have hope. Handful of anti-state elements cannot be successful. And we should all do our best to thwart their attempts to make sure that they do not succeed in their nefarious designs. Thank you so much, sir. It was very good to meet you and to know the truth. And thank you very much for your attention and your knowledge and knowledge. Yes, sir. This was today's program. मुझे और मेरे हमारे कैमरामैन तारिक प्यारा को आप इजाजत दें अगले प्रोग्राम में फिर मिलेंगे एक नए टॉपिक के साथ